Okay, guys, welcome back. It's been an amazing show, and we are coming towards the end of the show, but let's head on to the gist, all right? Something that uh, you guys should know about. It's been going on on social media, and let's have this real quick. Now, dreams die in Nigeria, says Yul Adoche. Now, actor Yul Adoche posted this about, you know, how his friend who left Nigeria progressed in just a year, all right? He said, now, this is, this is what he put on it. He said, my friend hustled as a practicing doctor for over 10 years in Nigeria with nothing much to show for it. He left Nigeria last year to practice abroad, came back one year after, got married, bought lands, building his house, and happy. Dreams die here. We can't continue, continue like, like this. this. Yeah. Now, mm, our question today is, it looks like do you agree that dreams die in Nigeria, and what do you think can be done about it? Now, guys, I'm sure this is a, this is a very deep uh, situation, it's a very deep mm. question, because we're Nigerians. Mm. Yeah. So I always say this thing every time, that if you can't identify or agree that there's a problem, then you can't solve the problem, yeah. right? So do we agree that dreams die in Nigeria, and, do you, and if, if yes, how can we solve it? So what, what do you guys think? Um, I'd rather say it's more difficult to actually, I, I, would, I don't want to be more too negative, I'd okay. rather be positive. So I'll say it's more difficult to succeed in Nigeria, and the reasons are very obvious. Infrastructure, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we don't even support ourselves as, as Nigerians, mm -hmm. you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. So there's truth in what he's saying, but if I'm going to be you know, positive towards that, I'll say like, it, you have to put on more effort. So if I'm going to, you know, let's say start a business outside the country, I know that depends on the nature of the business, I can get funded for True. sure. You True. know what I'm saying? But in Nigeria, who is funding you? You would dig your soil, your idea would die in your head. That's mm. the truth. You know what I'm saying? So who do, you, who, do, who do we blame now, the government or the people, if you want to put it in that? I blame board. both. You blame both? I blame both. Uh-huh. Yeah. But why, I think why would you blame two of them? To an extent, the people deserve the government they get, not trying to make this sort of politics, but, you know, if you get small amount to go and sell your whatever, you to know. sell your vote. Yeah. Ah, so it brings us to the point where I say, do you have your PVC? If you have your PVC, get ready. 2019 is fast approaching. <laughs> Make a wise choice so that we can change this narrative yeah. of saying that Nigerians' dreams die in Nigeria. Because for me, to be politically correct, as a political juggernaut that I am, I would say that I can't understand where Yule is coming from. Mm. And I've had similar experiences with my friends who have gone abroad and doing the same thing I do here in Nigeria. And they are, wow, yeah. running. They'd be wrong, mm. you know. But like I said, 2019 is fast approaching, guys. You guys get ready to vote. Get ready to change this whole narrative. Let's change it. And I, I think we're the only ones who can change it. Actually, yeah. nobody yeah. can change it for us. Yeah. Use last, your last. voice. Last, last. Yeah. You understand? So now that uh, we have decided to be very political, what yes. do you think about this political? Uh, well, actually, in yeah. this political terrain, yeah. um, I like to tell people uh, yeah. to um, be the president of this country. Yeah. I wouldn't like to say much, but I would like to tell you to go and get your PVC. Even if, why is it so difficult to get anyways? But even though it's so... <laughs> <laughs> so Dreams, before Nigeria. we go now, please, if you were the president of Nigeria, yeah. what would be the first thing you would do? That's a very you, on the spot uh, first you, thing you, you would do as the president of Nigeria. Honestly, electricity is so important. We need okay. to work with. If you look at it, electricity yeah. spoils a lot of things. Okay. There are a lot of things that electricity I backs mean, up. Even Down God to, gave like first. Do If I had yeah. like, if electricity <laughs> was constant and I had like a fashion school, I would have to pay for fuel. I would have Ooh, to buy jets. Look at that this, looking all serious and everything. What thing does it like this? To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.